Have you ever gone into a Sherwin Williams, looked at the price of a can of emerald, had a miniature heart attack, and then wondered, why is it so expensive? Well, today I'm gonna put my 25 years of paint expertise to the test as I try to simply explain the science and the chemistry that goes into the can. Then by the end of our discussion, you can determine if it's really worth the price. We're gonna start by talking about the resins. These are the backbone of any paint. Think of paint like a smoothie. The resin is the liquid that holds everything together. The pigments are like the fruit that gives it color. And the additives are extras, like protein powder that improves performance. If the base liquid is weak, then the smoothie is going to fall apart. Emerald's acrylic latex resin is engineered to form a tight, flexible coating on the wall. This tight film resists dirt, stains, and moisture better than other paints. It also has built-in flexibility, so instead of cracking when the walls expand and contract, Emerald stretches and moves with the surface. Let's illustrate it. I want you to imagine two roads. One is made of solid concrete, and the other is made of asphalt. Concrete roads can crack with temperature fluctuations, but asphalt flexes and lasts longer. That's what Emerald's advanced acrylic resin does. It stays strong without becoming brittle. Let's talk a little bit about why it's more washable than other paints. Have you ever scrubbed a wall and then noticed it turns shiny in that spot? That's called burnishing. It happens when a paint surface gets worn down through things like friction. Low quality paints break down easily when you're scrubbing them, but Emerald is engineered to resist that. This is all due to their cross-linking technology. As Emerald dries, its molecules bond tightly together. This creates a surface that's more resistant to wear. These molecular bonds don't just make it tougher, they're so close together that it makes the surface less absorbent. And because of that, stains don't sink in very easily. To illustrate, I want you to picture a raincoat, and then I want you to think about a cotton t-shirt. If you spill juice on the shirt, it soaks in, but you spill that same liquid on the raincoat and it beads up. See, that's how emerald is designed to repel stains. It doesn't let them seep in. It keeps them on the surface, making cleanup a whole lot easier. And since emerald also has hydrophobic properties, don't worry, I had to look that up too, it means it repels water. That means that it's gonna stand up better to scrubbing without degrading. For this reason, things like coffee, grease, and even permanent marker comes off more easily when compared to a cheaper paint. Let's go into coverage and hide. These two things are one of the biggest frustrations when it comes to painting. If your paint has poor hiding power, that means that the color underneath it keeps showing through, you're gonna need extra coats, and that means more time and money. Emerald tries to solve that problem by using ultra-fine titanium dioxide. But here's the real key that we need to keep in mind. It's not just about how much pigment is in the paint, it's also how well it's dispersed. Sherwin-Williams uses a dispersant technology that keeps pigments evenly suspended so they spread smoothly and provide consistent color with fewer coats. Let's illustrate this. I want you to think of a mug of hot chocolate. If you dump the cocoa powder into the milk and never stir it in very well, you're gonna get dark clumps and some lighter spots. But if you mix it thoroughly, the chocolate is going to spread out more evenly. That's what Emerald's dispersant technology does. It ensures that the color is uniform and rich across the entire wall. The result is better coverage, meaning the paint can spread further, as well as exceptional hide, meaning it's going to cover the color underneath it with no roller marks. Let's take a moment and talk about sheens. Sherwin-Williams Emerald, that comes in a flat, a matte, a satin, and a semi-gloss. And there's real science behind how each one of these perform. This is interesting. Did you know that at its core, every paint starts out glossy? It's the flattening agents that they mix into it that brings down the sheen. These agents, like silica or calcium carbonate, what they do is they create microscopic roughness that ends up scattering light and therefore reducing shine. Flat sheens obviously have the most flattening agents in them. This goes a long way when it comes to hiding imperfections. And the reason for that is because they better diffuse the light. But that same rough texture makes them less scrubbable 
and more prone to staining. So in other words, cleaning a flat wall will wear the paint down faster. A glossy sheen is going to have fewer flattening agents and more pigment. This results in a smoother, more reflective surface. This makes it a lot easier to clean, but it does highlight every flaw and imperfection in the wall. So we need to consider the matte and the satin option as the best balance between scrubability yet not too shiny. Let's now dive into moisture and mildew resistance. Imagine that you leave a wet towel in a dark, humid area for several days. It's not going to take very long and that towel is going to start to smell and it's going to grow mildew. That's exactly what happens when budget paints absorb moisture. They trap in dampness, creating a perfect breeding ground for mold inside and on the paint layer. Emerald is designed to work differently. It's the equivalent to using a fast drying, mildew resistant towel that stays fresh no matter how humid it gets. The antimicrobial additives actively prevent mold and mildew. This keeps your walls clean and protected, even in the steamiest of bathrooms. Let's take a moment now and we're going to consider VOCs. Now you may or may not have noticed the last 15 years or so, VOCs or volatile organic compounds have been a go-to keyword in the painting industry. First of all, what are they? VOCs in paint are chemicals that can easily evaporate into the air at room temperature. They contribute to the odor of the coating, but can also be harmful both to our health and to the environment. VOCs are released during the painting process as it dries. This can affect indoor air quality and contribute to air pollution. Low or zero VOC paints are available to reduce these effects, offering a safer alternative for both the painter as well as the occupant. Because of this, one of the biggest challenges in modern paint science is removing VOCs without ruining the performance of the paint. Many low VOC paints simply dry too fast, leaving brush marks and roller streaks. Emerald tries to solve this problem with special dry time modifiers that slows down the drying process just enough so that the paint can settle smoothly. To illustrate, imagine pouring maple syrup on a plate. If it's too thick, it doesn't spread. If it's too thin, it runs everywhere. Emerald tries to find the perfect balance so that it levels out beautifully without drying too quickly. Now we're going to talk about adhesion science. Emerald's self-priming formula and its high adhesion allows it to bond to tricky surfaces without a separate primer in most cases. It grips a glossy wall better than low-end paints. It also has a higher resin to pigment ratio. This means that it's going to have more binding power. To illustrate this, I want you to think of tape. Cheap tape doesn't stick very well and it pulls off very easily. But high quality tape, it sticks on firmly. Emerald is like a high quality tape for your walls. It grips tightly, which helps to prevent chipping and peeling. So as we take a moment and we consider all these main points that we just talked about, my hope is that you're going to have a better appreciation for what actually goes into the can. So the next time we go to Sherwin-Williams and we look at the price, the question I have for you is this. Is Emerald truly worth it? Please hit the subscribe button and let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.